So let's get over to our man, Mr. Basil Chapman, as we do each and every Tuesday. And don't forget, Basil has an outstanding show here every trading day, 10 to 11 Eastern Standard Time. Also has a great newsletter, the opening call. Now you get the opening call for one month for $149, six months to $695, which is the savings of $199 at 22%. And one full year for eleven ninety five, which is a savings of five hundred ninety three dollars, a thirty three percent. They all come with a thirty day money back a guarantee. Come on over here, check it out. You'll be very glad to did. Basil Chapman, what's going on? Hi Tom, how are you? I'm doing good. Yourself? Very good, thank you. So, what do we think about this market, Basil? So this is very interesting because on a purely technical basis, uh, the Dow. Uh, on the left side here is the Dow Daily. In the middle is the weekly chart. On the right is the monthly chart. I have no indication other than the Trevor Wave notation of a peak D, and now we're in a leg E with a, ch a chance of, I don't want to get too technical because I did that this morning in my target admissions hour, and I'll do it again tomorrow at 10 o'clock, uh, where I'll go through the per different parameters that I'd be looking for if there was a change of direction. But most importantly, you can see the price is above the nine period moving averages green line. The green line is sharply above the black line. So yes. that's called the 914. That's very positive still. I don't have any indication right now to say that there should be a, a deep pullback. There could be, a, I call, I've called it a, a breather, a consolidation in the different indices, and I'll talk about that in a moment. But the MACD is good. The relative strength is gray line, is very strong. The stochastic's flat at 93% if you're along. That's what you want to see. It's fabulous to see a flat stochastic in the 90% area. The unbalanced volume is a little bit overbought. If you look at the weekly chart, and I thought I'd bring this up right now because of what you had said a little earlier when you were talking about gold. <clears throat> This is called the Chapman Inside Track Repellent Zone. So I've draw, I draw these lines on the outer uh, perimeters of the candle wick. And what happens is very often you'll see the price goes right to the to the door. It just can't open the door. It's, it cannot get through to the green line. It just hits that and pulls back. Well, the, the weekly chart of the Dow is in leg D. You know, leg D is the fourth highest peak. That's where other things can happen. So we get a little bit cautious. But look at this. It's right there. Monthly charts in leg E. So I thought I'd just bring this up. You see this this same inside track repellent zone? Well, have a look at this. Yes. Here's the S&P. Okay. We're right up against it. And this goes back to the low of 666 back in March the 9th of 2009. I'll just open this up. Whoa. <laughs> That's a trip. <laughs> hey, I mean, look at that line. And, and yep. you had resistance right there at 4818 in January of 2022. Pull back sharply to 3491 in October 2022. And here we are bumping up against that resistance. So I thought I'd bring this up. And I drew this and I showed subscribers to my opening call. And I did this on my show. Here's the gold contract. I mean, when I drew this, we were somewhere down here. It looked ridiculous that I could even talk about it. But here's the same type. But this is, goes back to 2014 at 1538. Look, this chap wave inside track repellent zone. And this is the gold contract. We've just gone above it. And okay. it's only in leg C. So that's very positive. So what I wanted to say is within the context of for subscribers, um, we took, a, we took a, a very brief short uh, the other day and we, took, we got stopped out for a $1.6% oh, loss, which is really nothing for insurance. But the reason is I wanted to keep everything tight because there's a rotation going on. So we are long Microsoft way back from 338. It hit, uh, it ran all the way to the 400 and right here, the 468 level is pulled back. And it's been consolidating for a while. So this is cloud operational system subscription and AI. But the AI Q, which is the ETF for the um, Global X Artificial Intelligence ETF, which we've been long for some time, here it is, and very close to an all-time high. So with even with sectors, what we're looking at is there's a rotation going on. So Microsoft's in that same category, but AI, this particular um, ETF is leading is almost at an all-time high. So what I've been pointing out is this: there's a kind of a rotation going on. We are still along the IWM. So this is a small cap. So look, for the first time, you've had a really good rally up. 228.63 was the uh, most recent high in July. And we we're just under it at 221. So I'm looking at this as if to say, 
there's a rotation going on. If you look at high-grade copper, it was doing nothing for a little while. And look at the spectacular move today. And, and uh, you know, for a long, long time, for years, we've been long the DBA, which is the agricultural fund, which is the soft commodities. And look, it's almost at an all-time high. So now you've got the other, the, the minerals, the other areas are starting to come on, like copper, like gold. So that's this rotational aspect to the market. So it's f so fascinating. Whenever there's a moment where you could get a pretty decent breather, something else comes along to kind of save the day. So we're looking at this rotational market and so far all the sectors are pretty doing pretty well. Yeah, pretty amazing, no doubt about that. Listen, yeah. folks, get over to our website at TFN and you're going to the newsletters. You're going to see the opening call right on the right-hand side. Miles, you have a great one, safe one. We look forward to the show tomorrow morning. Thank you very much, Tom. Thank you.